Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at methods for following reaction rates. We're going to look at two methods today. One is collecting a gas through water and the other is measuring the mass lost during a reaction. Both of these are for following reactions that produce gas. In the picture you can see the setup for following a reaction where you're going to bubble the gas through water and collect it in a measuring cylinder. You need to have a boiling tube or a conical flask in which you'll have your reaction. You then have a delivery tube, which you will place into an upturned measuring cylinder full of water. This is held in a tub of water. You also need to have a timer nearby. To carry out this method, you need to have your reactants ready to go and have your delivery tube underneath your measuring cylinder of water. Here you can see I'm going to add the magnesium to the hydrochloric acid and then I'm going to stopper the delivery tube very quickly and start the timer whilst we're starting to collect the gas. From this point, you want to read your measuring cylinder at set time intervals. I sped this part up. The reaction is complete when no more gas is produced during your time interval. Here is an example of what your results would look like after a few minutes. You can then use your average rate equals change in quantity divided by change in time calculation to work out the average rate for different sections. This is an example of the sort of diagram of the equipment that you're using as well. Pause the video now and try these calculations. There are different calculations for National 5 and higher. For A, the average rate will be 44 minus 0 divided by 60 minus 0. This will be 0 0.73 centimetres cubed per second. For B, we will have 67 minus 44 all divided by 120 minus 60. This will be 23 divided by 60, which is 0 0.38 centimetres cubed per second. For C, we will have 79 minus 67 divided by 180 minus 120. This will be 12 divided by 60, which is 0 0.2. And for D, we will have 79 minus 79 divided by 240 minus 180. This will be 0 divided by 60, which is 0. So why does the average rate change? At point A, we're at the start of the reaction where we have a lot of reactants, so the average rate is faster. As we use up the reactants, the reaction starts to slow and once they're all used up, the reaction was finished and the average rate will be zero. For higher, we calculate the relative rate of reaction. For us, the reaction is finished at 180 uh, seconds. Relative rate is equal to one divided by time. So here, the relative rate will be one divided by 180 which is 0 0.056 per second. Our second way to follow the rate of reaction is to carry out the same reaction, but this time put your reaction vessel onto a balance. You can then watch the mass loss as the reaction carries on. Here you can see we have a conical flask with our acid already inside. The magnesium ribbon is already on the balance as well, and this will give your start value. We put some cotton wool on the top to prevent any spray. As with measuring the gas produced, here you would measure the mass at certain time intervals.
Here's an example of what your results might look like over a minute. Here's also a diagram of the equipment that you're using. Pause the video now and try these calculations for National 5 and higher. The total mass loss is shown in the final column. This is the total mass loss compared to 0 seconds. For the average rate for A, between 0 and 20 seconds, we have 0 0.05 minus 0 divided by 20 minus 0, which is 0 0.0025. For B, we have 0 0.11 minus 0 0.05 divided by 40 minus 20. This is 0 0.003. And for C, we have 0 0.11 minus 0 0.11 divided by 60 minus 40. This is zero. This method of following rate can be quite difficult and you do get strange irregularities like this. For higher, we need to find the end time for the reaction, which is 40 seconds. And we do one divided by time, which is one divided by 40. So our relative rate is 0 0.025 per second. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on X at Miss Adams Chem, Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry, and TikTok Miss Adams Chem for updates on new videos, flashcards, and short videos throughout the year. Bye for now.